And that is a lot of companies. <laughs> and uh, I think you missed it. The game didn't hook fast enough, but uh, this is uh, published by Squeenix, apparently. That's pretty wild. Uh, Nier also was, so it's not new. All right, so if you ever get lightheaded, disoriented, or twitching at any point in time, stop playing. Oh, there it is. It says Square Enix right there. Hey there, one. This is Alcow. I'm playing a video game. The sound here is significantly lower than it was during the logos. Cool sound design. So Quantum Conundrum. I don't know anything about this game. Uh, I know it's from the uh, the Portal team. It is a game by the Portal team. Was done, and uh, it is a 3D platformer. No, like not 3D, but like first-person platformer puzzler. Uh, like playing around with physics. Do a thing. Is that a thing? You can click. No. I've got everything running as normal except that I have disabled motion blur. If I can have a good argument for keeping that, I'll reconsider. Let's just get ourselves right in. Once upon a time. Hi. That's how these things usually start. Typically, I guess that's the planet. A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claimed. All right. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. All right. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was, in fact, a professor an inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. All right, just kill that teddy bear. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit different. Let's introduce the question marks. Well, let's see here. Okay. If I configure the trans-dimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm a bit... <laughs> oh, I don't have the ability to move yet. Ah, wazd. We're wazdin. That's my suitcase. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. I don't know what a foyer is. <laughs> It's a word I've definitely heard a lot. Maybe you're just gonna... What? What did you... Use button. Okay, so just put that somewhere. Oh, this feels jittery. I'm sure I don't get used to it, but I'm feeling oh, like all over the place. It, oh. All right. What was that? Is this the foyer? I don't know, man. Oh, good. Uh, oh. That should be okay. a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Oh, indeed. Where on earth did I put that? Okay. Eh. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. Things are feeling like super... Okay, I don't get high enough. Oh, right, yes. So. I'd forgotten. You're yeah, that's not right. particularly tall, are Accurate. you? Accurate. You should be able to use your luggage yeah, to give you an extra boost. That's what I'm doing. Uh... Wait there we go. Minute. Something isn't quite right uh, here. Uh, uh. Like, I don't know if it's something about the frame rate or what, but something feels. Oh no! Weird. No! 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 Oh, no! All right. What's going on? Ah! Whoa! Well, okay. I guess that's my fault for approaching those books. Still can move, so maybe I should have just hang around. <laughs> Wait, just Look at that. I'm not entirely sure where I am right oh, now. Oh, it's getting dark though. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and. Uh -huh. Hello, you, you you can hear me, right? Yep. Jump around a bit if you can. Oh, okay, sure. Ah, it seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Sweet. Well. I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. Hey. There. Ha. Hi. Much better. Not very loud. 
What in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My That's an armor. is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. Oh no! Bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Front hall, is this it? I mean, there's a big light that points right here, so... Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then... I don't know. I do think the Whoa. failsafe was tripped accidentally. Like you saw what happened in the frame Unfortunately, there, right? the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. Mansfield Pulsar. Alright, there's a... I like the on switch above. That's pretty good. Chairs. All right. Oh, that's saving. Sa if you head it's over a to safe. I get it. Left. You should be able to restart the manor's power grid. All right. Why well, you got so many armor sets? Like that's just weird. All right. There's your power glove. Sounds great. A bunch of books. Uh, 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 uh. But I want to like look at the cover, but it kind of becomes very clear once I pick it up. Throw that switch there. Uh, all right. Be the one. Throwing. Oh. Okay, there's level select. I don't know what this is. I just threw something. So, I press the button and nothing happened. What happens if I go here? Level select. Okay. Level select and stat. Uh, I guess I haven't done anything yet. Overall... Yeah, I haven't, like, done anything, I guess. I'm trying to click things... Ducks! Okay, so, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is, um, the DLC. Okay, I see. Got it, I think. Well, I press the switch and nothing's happening. Why are you unhappy? Okay, this switch. Well, I guess that, that was more wasn't a button. as effective as I'd hoped. You'll my, have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. All right. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. Okay. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device. Or IDS device for short. Got it. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know. I know. You don't need to explain <laughs> your own jokes. Like, this lack of confidence is a bit unnerving. Okay. So I need to find tubes and now let me continue there somewhere. Got it. That's how levels are going to do. I get oh, this opened up. If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. All right, so it that's what we're doing. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. All righty. That, uh, that's blue wing. There's something the walls are blue. I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. All right. I mean, visited. No, it's fair. So this is... To do a now, thing. one of the topics button. that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. Alrighty. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Sounds great. That's the ice beam, yeah, that we saw in the cutscene. That's a place I can't get to. It's way too up there. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. All right. Sure. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Sounds great. Yeah, now this is the place we could just see. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating huh. gruy day. All right. Or a drinking bird. Yeah, I know. Except Again, you don't, don't explain your own jokes. What are you doing? 
Eh. Alright. I keep wanting to press, like, E uh, well, to activate your buttons. Glove is an early prototype. It has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. Alright. No, you need a clip. Uh, that's just weird to me. Alright, well, we didn't really... Alright, that was the hallway. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Okay. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. All right. Go for it, There's bird. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is fluffy dimension. In addition to right. fluffy being embarrassing. Adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Ah, 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 ah. So, lighter safe. I can put it here. There we go. Okay, it's made of fluff. Literally fluff. So, uh, Though uh, that uh, looks uh, like a regular scale, yep, it is it. in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Yeah, it's a button. Press button to make a thing happen. There's that lovely bird again. Okay, so... Sometimes I call him Desmond. Good for you. I'm glad you have hobbies, uncle. Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. But, uh, oh, let me try that, that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Uh, oh, there's a the thing. Neat. This makes sense. Table. All right. Okay. Well, we're doing more of this. All right. Welcome to Fluff Town. Population Fluff. Uh, is this okay? This is. Got it. Uh, all right. You know, Uncle, your your house is in a bit of a state of disrepair here. I don't know if you're aware of that. Probably. That'd be weird if you weren't. Go. Uh, that's fine. I did not crush any appendages that I may have. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. On the wall? Where's the wall? Like, what wall? Okay, there, I guess? No, that's the indication of where we want to be, I think. I don't know what that is. Is that the thing for battery? Thing for battery. Because, yeah, here we can clearly need a thing. The receptacle is on up both. on the second floor alcove. Look, buddy, shut up. Okay, throw with that right receptacle click. will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Okay. Oh, with E. Really? So use is... Switch. All right, fair enough. I, I guess I get it. The the fact that it's four just kind of threw me off when I got here. But I guess it just As takes I one. That's fine. Dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Sweet. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. All right. I hope the like. Ah, stuff. that's Dolly. All Dynamic right. Object Linear Ligation Interface. It's a big to face. You, a cloning device. Got I like it. my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Sweet. Uh, I'll need to tune that later. All right, so put a thing in there to give us the ability to destroy reality. Alter its very foundations to make things fluffy so that then I can bring the safe on a button and make a thing happen. And now that I think about it, probably the reason why there are four things is there are probably going to be four ways we're going to alter reality. And uh, I guess that's not a way. All right. And so that's so that we can have four different alterations going on at once. I did it! I figured it out! The jumpiness is driving me insane. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Uh, checkpoint saved. You know what? I don't know how saving works, ah, actually. That's my favorite chair. Sweet. Oh, and that one too. Yeah. 
It's all getting destroyed by lasers. All right, I don't know how this game is gonna be like separated and whatnot. If I press escape, can I have can I have a save? Restart from last checkpoint. Turn to Great Hall. All right, so if I go back to main menu, I will accept because I think it's saved. Which I can do. Start game. I can continue game. Loading dimension. Bacon joke in the loading pit. Hmm. Ah, that's okay. Dolly. So whenever we see a subtitle, interface. you know what? To that's you. fine I with me. Device. See, this is like why we got to figure so these things so out early. To to yeah, man. Uh, frames are a bit jumpy. Uh, like I said, I uh, hope it's not I too big of an later. issue. I can deal. We'll see. Me, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. But okay, like, you know, we're getting a vibe for what are happening here. Alrighty.